You know what I'm saying? This is uh, old technology on the mothership. Yes, sir. But it all works. It's all good. Plug it in and let it begin. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I'm riding that frequency. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I like that music you was playing earlier before I got on in. I like what you sent me. Oh, that, that's the stuff. That's the shit. That's my new, uh, what you call it, pa paradigmic music. That I oh, want that pandemic music. Pandemic shit, yeah. I'm Ooh, this. I want wow. you to I want you to pee on it, some of it, is, man. Man, you know I'm gonna pee on it like I pee on a tree with my leg. I up. know <laughs> girl <laughs> dogs don't pee on trees. With so. my hind leg lifted. <laughs> you got that shit. What's up, dog? Man, I'm good, Uncle George. You looking good, man. I'm just so happy to be talking to you. I'm glad everybody tuned in, listening. Man, I feel good talking to your ass too. Shit. Hey, you man, seeing the you biggest done, dog done, of them all. My God, you, you killing the game, man. Hey, man, mama, I learned from the best. Mama don't realize how hard it is to stay around this shit when you like it like that. Right, but you know, when, when my forefathers, when y'all did it, y'all showed us the way to do it. Y'all went from the 60s to the 70s to the 80s, and then when hip-hop came, hip-hop took it to another level and kept adding on to the extension to what the mothership brought. And I'm just the G to the P. Well, you know, we said that with clones, clones, I mean, that's what sampling was about. Genetically sample a little piece, make a brand new thing, a whole new music, a whole new genre. We was expecting you guys, you know what I'm saying? I was. Hey, man, shout saying? out to all of the producers and all the hip-hop pioneers that man, ventured I'm, into using y'all music. I'm loving the thing they did with it to keep it what they call classic shit now. Yeah, you know, and, and shout out to the ones that brought y'all to the studio to actually get y'all yeah, in the studio and to, really to work it. with us. You know, we love working with all the people. Every generation that came on after that, that was you was digging the funk. I'm all right with you. Yes, sir. You know, but, well, there was, a, lot, a lot of people want to know in the early days what was it like when you was making funk and James Brown was making funk. Well, shit. I mean, it wasn't no thing about it. He, he was. He was born in this shit, so everybody else was catching up in the first place. So it wasn't no thing about, you know, just hope to be that funky one day, you know. Right. So that's why, I, like, I was really glad to have, when Boosie came around, he brought a whole mess of, of uh, his gang-related brothers from, from the JBs, Fred, Maceo. So yeah, I had, you know, I, I had my shit on my back. You know, I, shit, I thought I was all of that now. Was it, was it was it was it something in the water in Ohio back then? Cause them Ohio boys was fun. Oh hell yeah! It had to be something in the water. It was too many of them muffins came from Dayton and in um, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. I mean, I go all the way back to James and the uh, Midnighters and you know and Hank Ballard and all that shit. Man, you know, man, then Ohio Felipe. Was, Ohio was foundation of folk. Felipe. I mean, it was so much. I mean, but Detroit was the same way. You know what I'm saying? It just, a lot of people don't realize how funky Motown was because they were so popular that it was called right. pop. But right. when you listen to James Jameson in any of that shit, I don't care if it's Smokey, Miracle, I mean, pop as hell, the Four Tops, you know, that shit was funky. That's what made us want it to be Funkadelic because right. that bass on, on James Jameson, the Funk Brothers, they meant that shit. So, uh, what, what, how, how the word funk was like a bad word when y'all was making music, right? Oh, you get, you get the shit smacked out of your ass. <laughs> you, you know what, you know what you was insinuating, you know, but it's done got even deeper, you know. I mean, look what hip hop was able to take it. It's right. just, it's expression, it's communication. All generations evolve into something new, something different. And usually the older folks don't like where the kids go with it. And that's that pushes us. We getting ready to evolute again. We getting ready to evolve again. But see, that's you, what that's what held you down because you was always connected to the youth. Whenever we would use your music, no matter who it was, you would give us the blessing. You would come sing on it. You would perform with us. You would give us that that big brother blessing that we needed, and you wouldn't overcharge us. And if it was your sample, you was like, just give me my money. Y'all use it, and y'all keep it moving. Yeah, man, you know, I'm, but at the same time, I'm trying to figure out what the hell y'all doing with it. Right. <laughs> I'm learning too. I mean, it, it went both ways. You know, I ain't crazy. You know, I, right. I want to get paid, but I know how to get mine. You know, and that's just about acknowledging what it is going on right now. 
helps you to stay in the right now. Right, because as soon as you the start younger saying generation, it, we, the younger generation, we depended upon OGs like you to give us that because some old school artists didn't really accept hip hop. They didn't want to let us use their music. They didn't want to let us sample it because they felt like we was just degrading their music as opposed to us that's, upgrading and bringing that music, music <laughs> for different audience. That's always that's always the case. The the the, the older ones think that the new ones are, are corny and that they degrading it and it ain't what's happening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you have to think, hey, I understand that. I want to find out what they're doing with it. If it don't get on my nerve, I know it ain't no good. If it get on my <laughs> if it get on my nerve, I know it's the next shit, and I'm gonna learn what they're doing with it. I don't care how corny it sounds to me, cause I'm grown. But right. I want to figure out what the fuck they're doing with, it, cause I know it's gonna work. That's how they so, weed out. That's how they weed out us old motherfuckers. But who ain't down? So, Unc, how did you feel when disco came and tried to kill the funk? But I knew we had a uh, we had a serious job. That's why we did knee deep. Remember that mm, was rescue. Knee deep it, was the answer to disco. It was called rescue dance music from the blahs. Woo! That's what we called it. That was our mission. I mean, disco. I don't dislike disco. It's just that it only had that one beat. That's right. what we we didn't like. We wanted to experience, move around. D disco is good as hell because I mean it's funk all the time. Right. You know, we just didn't like it pimping just that one beat. You get tired of one stroke. If right. you ain't got no if you ain't got no moving around syncopation, you know, somebody gonna tell you to fax that shit in. <laughs> so um, who was the who was the guy that was actually the one that was arranging all of those vocals on those funkadelic parliament records? Because the arrangement was it was out of here. I I I made in a whole bunch of people doing that. You had, you know, a lot of people recognize Gary Sider, uh, Junie Morrison, you know, or, but one that started with me that right from Testify that's been on pretty much every record was called Pat Lewis. She's out of De she's out of Detroit. She sung on the Andantes on Motown, Four Tops, and everybody on that label. But other than that, she sang on all of the Funkadelic early records. Most people would know her as Hot Butter and Soul with Isaac Hayes. Yes. That was her. She's the one that pretty much got us all into arranging an overload of harmonies. And, and once she got me started, I got Gary, and we just made that a con. Motown was the prototype, but we just overdid it with the hooks and the puns and the stacking of voices. All of that goes all the way back to even Phil Spector. They called it Wall of Sound. You know, but, then, but those y'all was y'all had like a uh, like an opera sound. It wasn't just that's, like R and B. Y'all had like opera. That, oh, that's what I'm saying. All those people put it all together. You get like opera sound. And Bernie Worrell, who was the keyboardist, knew how to make it classically to get it voiced. You know, when we want to do something different, I could just go to him and he he would just voice it on the piano. And like I said, Gary was church. I just mixed everything that I, all the information that I was familiar with that I worked with. Judy Marson came in from the Ohio Players, and we were doing One Nation and then Knee Deep. That was a whole new sound for us at that moment. And then that's Felipe Wynn on the end of, uh, oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Did it. He, he had from just the left the spinners. He had just left the spinners. He had no job. He was sitting around the studio watching us do knee deep. He say, "That's a hit, bro." Bub, he called me Bub. He said, "But if I was on there, I said, say no more." <laughs> he, he went into this booth twelve minutes into the song. That that song is fifteen minutes. He don't come on till like at the end. Twelve minutes into the song, and he takes it home too. But that show you how good it was, though. Uh, Y'all made a song that was 15 minutes long, and nobody said turn it off. If anything, no. when it went off, they say put it back on. Yeah, that that was a that was a rarity. I tried that a couple of more times, <laughs> and people told me to take that shit off. <laughs> no, you, know? you changed the game with that. That's 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 what yeah. music was about. That was a song, like in my early days, that song would come on at all house parties. And all of the gangsters would just dance to that song all night long. That music was was meditation, man. But you know, and then it got to the point in time for like like for sampling. It's a good song to 
to bring everybody on the dance floor and then take it off. You're like, me, myself, and I, black, black, yeah. black, black. You could use those songs just for the intro to, to get everybody on the floor and change to another song. Mm -hmm. That was the DJ, that was the DJ tactic that we used on, you know, like a lot of our songs, the Mothership Connection, for instance. That was supposed to be a whole DJ set. That was a DJ on the radio. Wow, because this is the radio station. W-E-F-U-N-K. Exactly. We funk. Or if we took all that, I got radio station 187.4 FM on your dial, W Balls. We came right behind you, baby. <laughs> I remember the day now. Yeah, you already know. Let's see. I mean, K, we, we was there when K-Day was so hot. You know, we thought we lived in L.A. Man, K Day was so hot for Uncle Jam and Uncle Jam's Army yep. and all that stuff y'all was putting together. It was just, it was tremendous, man. Uncle Jam's yeah. Army, they was that, so, they was so funked out. They just took it to a whole right. level. That's, I talked, that's I, my, that's my G's out here on the West. I talked to Battle Cat and Dre. I don't talk to Dre, but I talked to Battle Cat. You know, about those days. But I remember when they first said, "Could we use the name?" But, hey. We used to take our records to them to let them play them. <laughs> yeah, man. Rest in peace, Roger Clayton, DJ yep. Pooh, Mix yep. Masters, man. It's all the West Coast that I grew up on, man. They was an extension of y'all. We loved y'all. We we, they was like y'all little homies that was pushing it to us, making us love it. We brought Roger out there, zap, more bounce to the ounce. Y'all brought more bounce to the ounce out? Yeah, I produced more bounce to the ounce. What? I brought that. I brought that. Come on, Snoop. Now you got to get your dog history. Yes. You produce more bounce than I have. I produce more bounce, more. Look, I mean, I, ask, the, ask the Troutman, ask the brothers, ask the group. I produce and wrote more bounce than ounce with them. I sampled, I sampled the bass line from another song they had called Funky Bounce. Mm -hmm. Before before there was sampling, you had to cut it with tape. You had to cut the tape and piece it together with tape. That, That's that, how that, my first album was done. That, okay, it wasn't no sampling, you know, to make the a slave, loop. The slave and the master. <laughs> you had to make a loop, yes. <clears throat> they, ask the, the Troutmans, yes. I mean, listen to that more bounce now and put it up next to Knee Deep and One Nation and Aqua Boogie. You hear that, <laughs> that same United Sound hand clap. That's that clap. That's your, oh, how many hands and, was in the room? I don't, I don't know. That was a bunch. Of, that was a lot of tracks, but it's about four of us doing it. But it's a lot of tracks, you know. And Overton Lord did the cover. Him and, him and Ronald Edwards, they did the cover right in the studio while we was recording. They drew it right there. They drew that first Zap cover, right in with, the studio the while letters, we. With the letters, because that's the same artist that do your shit. Yes, that's Overton Lord and Ronald Edwards. Yes. And you see how my first album is just like it's doggy style. It's in cartoon. My cousin Joe Cool did it in the same spirit of your shit, just like that. Well, you know, when we did, what's my name? Okay, hey, hey, it's, a little, it's a record. It's a record that I fucking love. That was on the B side. It was uh uh just the other day. A uh, uh, dog talk by uh, no, it's pretty C. C. Yeah, I just saw my boy in um. Uh, was it, uh, Chattanooga, yeah, I just saw him. You know, he was a kid that turned us on to to, to hip hop. Soon as the the what is it, Sugar Hill Gang came out, mm -hmm. <clears throat> we was doing Atomic Dog. That's eighty eighty one at the time, and he heard it and went in there. We say, "What's it rapping?" <laughs> we let him do that, and next thing we know, rap was the shit, and we had us a, already a hit record with Atomic Dog. That, and that song was on everybody. See, Snoop me, dogged him out. I dog. said, Pluto dogged him dog. out. <laughs> but wow, wow, dog. wow. Mama Duke dogged him out. Yeah. <laughs> Do a doggy style. That dog. In dog. your hand, some might lick it, toss a stick, some might run and fetch it. Take more than a bone, Jones, to get me in your favor if you're able. Yeah. That's dog talk, baby. Okay. We got we got one dope dog. You know about the dope dope dogs. Well, hey, the, the new thing. Have you you to the three GP the the new group? The new group. My, yeah, the kids in the group. My my grandkids, Your my grandbabies. kids, and, and sons and daughters, granddaughters, all of them, we, and their friends. Three GP. 
That's, That's genetics. The, hey, aren't they got it? They cut from the cloth, man. You, you know, we, we was on one before this pandemic shit. But I seen was, it. I seen how they got you right. How I was watching the story how they got you all the way right and got you looking right, feeling right, sounding right. Man. So it's only right to get them in the studio. We was getting ready. We threatening. But I'm still saying we're getting ready to put this stuff out right now. Pandemic. That's what we call it. Uh, quarantine ages. Music for quarantine ages. Ooh, let's go, Unc. Let's go, because the I'm young generation got to know about this funk tree, man. This tree is what we all cut from. Okay, well, the, the album I'm putting out right now is called Reaching for Litness. Wow. I sent, I sent you three of them. See which one or two that you want to pee on. I'm a, I may pee on all three. Well, go ahead, then. <laughs> <laughs> Jack off on them motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, let my little nephews know that Uncle Snoop may pee on all three. Okay, cool. Hey, um, J uh, John P. Key is in here right now watching. John P. Key, the minister. What, you, John what Key. up? Yeah, he said you're responsible for the funk in his uh in his life, man. He be playing. He, that brother can play. Huh? Oh, the Christian music. Yes, sir. But he oh got, man, he yeah, got that funk on it. Oh man, we have a lot of Christmas gospel stuff that's funky. I mean, when I go to I go to Houston. And I want to find some funk, I can echo the church. <laughs> <laughs> Them boys in, in um, uh, Chris Days? Yes. Ooh, that boy be killing it. They go. But see, that's one thing about the funk. The funk can be removed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Can't, thou shall not be moved. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got a lot of people in here, man. So shout out to everybody in here that's watching. Oh this man, I see the conversation between the biggest dog of them all and the pick of the litter. Damn, man, we are, this shit is gang related. There's no <laughs> gang of us on this shit. Uh oh, Chris Day, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, they in here. We got some. Oh man, tell him to play some of that funk he got. Yeah, play some of that funk. Hey, Unc, why don't you play something? Play something new. Give me something new right now. Everybody listening, give them something. Uh-oh, you should have done that. Give them something. I'm finna blaze up one while you play some new music. Okay, good shit. In the spirit of funk. It's only right. How you like well, my background? Is... Uh, look at me. I'm in the, I'm in the, look at me. I'm, I'm, no, man, you're in the galaxy, man. <laughs> I had to get it right for you. Okay, here we go. Shout out to your queen, because I know she wants to listen to Hey, she say hi. I know she helped you with this technology. Hey, tell your wife hi. <laughs> this is you know reaching it? For, reaching for litmus. Yeah. Reach the litness. Reach the light. Reach the light. Reach the litness. Reach the litness. Reach the light. Reach the light. Take another choking token, hickey sticky stinky stuff a hole. Pack a pipe. Twist the blood roll and light a joint. Snoop the dog is in the house. You better know it. Oh. Give me the mic. Flash the light. Let's get it right. Children of the dawn. Shine the light. Flood light. Children of the dawn. Bring us up the light. Let's get it right. Take us out the night. Children of the dawn. Flash the light. Super trooper. Shine the light. Reach the litmus. Let's get it right. Reach the litmus. Reach the light. Reach the litmus. Shine the light. Shine the light. Shine the light. Yeah. Take us at the night. I feel like that too, bro. Children of the dawn. Reach the litmus. That shit bang. Reach the litmus. Reach the light. Reach the litmus. Reach the litmus. 
reach for life. We reach for life. Yeah, y'all. Quasadelic, I see you on there. Quasadelic, baby. Yeah. I call it the spaceship, but that is not racist. It hit like the basses. Sound like a snoop track, somebody said. You see the light on the basses. I handle my business. Yeah, this, I came from the trenches. Beethoven, man. Let's say it's all witness. Now, what they told me, yeah, so we got a history way back when I'm he was 16 years old. When he was a little like itty bit. I got the first track, bro. Yeah, all of my charm now. 3GP, third generation P Funk. That shit bang. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh oh, I see Soul Child on there. What's happening, girl? Yeah. Bang. Mm. When you putting that out, huh? I'm getting it together now, man. So we're going to get I'm... that in a couple of months. You're going to get that in a, less than a couple of months. You're going to get that in a month. Okay. Leave... Me put it together now. I'm okay, gonna so I'm gonna pee on the tree and make sure my parts is complete, and then that way you gonna you know what I'm saying do your thing thing with it. Heist your leg, man, and <laughs> do all the three that. GP with the D O double G. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Man, look at all them hearts we getting over there, man. They damn litness, reaching for litness. That's love, man. Ain't nothing but some love up in here, man. We want none but love. That's all we getting, and that's all we giving. We we ought we ought to get get on one of these things and just play a whole bunch of shit all day. <laughs> yeah, for real though. Play some of that that the foundation. Play some of the new generation. Some of the shit that some of the clones that came through, some of the samples. Yeah, where made it came a song. From. Yeah, yeah all the songs that he created, and see, we got rights to that shit. The shit we can play that shit. Uh, I love that. Uh, when y'all went like ballad, like with the uh, slowed it down a little bit. Oh, that's funky. We love to funk you, Funkenstein. Your funk is the best. Hey, take my body and give it a mind to funk with the rest. Hit me with a one and then. If you like, hit me again. We, we love, love to funk and stein. Yeah, yeah, oh, Bootsy Bob of it. Yeah, boy, that shit right there is so timeless. It's a feeling that come with that, even just. Hearing it like that with no music has got a feeling to it. That music will never die because of the feeling. How did y'all feel when y'all made that music? Was was it was it just like just a regular feeling, or you knew that? Shit no, no, we time? we knew we knew we was on one by that time. You know, we had did up for the downstroke in the Chocolate City. We was on the road. You couldn't tell the shit by that time, right? You know, but um, yeah, I got another one. I'm, I got another. You got to hear this one here. Man, play it, huh? See it. I'm, I'm I got time. Last time I seen you, I ain't had time. But today, I got time. Gotta do it right. Gotta 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 gotta do it right. Put up next to me, she was quick and straight to the point. I can have your number, please. Oh, she wanna was quickie. 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 That's one right there. I 
Yes. <laughs> that are, that let you know right there when that motherfucker came on, it was fire flying everywhere. <laughs> Just check, check this. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Yeah. 
shit. Go, go. Ooh-wee. I'm telling you, man, when we come out of this pandemic shit, we coming out with an attitude. Come on, huh? let me know what I got to do to help push the, you know, push the push. You know, I'm about this oh. life. Okay, no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I sent those three, but I'm going to send you the rest of them and then give you the, the parts, the tracks, and, you know, get you, know, you and the fellas and, yeah, you know. Yeah, let, let, us, let us dance on it, and you just take what you want and what you don't need, just throw it to the side. But I just want to dance on it. I think the homies want to, you know, do a little something for y'all. We all in the chat right now. Everybody want to fuck with it. Okay, you got it. Then I'm, I'm, I'm shit. And you know, like I, I own a lot of the man. You know, now. the mothership is yours whenever you want to pull up, man. As soon as they break the motherfucking chains off, you're the first one in there. Oh, you got damn right. We on our way. You hear me? Yep. It's I'm yours. There. You know, and you know, I'm working with your boy right across the street that rants too. Man, so. fifteen hundred. Them my boys. Come on, man. I know. I know. Just, just you going look. I got a bike. You can ride the bike from there to there. Back, back, I know, back I know. They, we said the same thing. You know, we go way back. I go back with the pops and shit. <laughs> right, old school. Come on, and, and they doing a good job, right? Oh, they keeping that shit alive. They right? they doing that shit good, really good. I mean, I'm so proud of all of it. You know, we got some good things came out of that era. Yeah, yeah. you know. So now let's do this. Let's do this for real. Consider it done. Consider it done. Uh, I'll send, I'll send you the, some files, and uh, they got some files, and we'll just all just get together on it. For sure. Shout out to Swiss Beats in here. You know Swiss Beats got that uh, verse on him and Timberland. I'm, I'm supposed to be on that shit. I, I got a couple of verses. No, no, no. Can't nobody fuck with you. Who you going to go up against? Quincy Jones. I ain't fucking with nobody. <laughs> I just want to be doing some shit. You got to go. It's got to be somebody that got some weight, uncle. Huh? You got weight. Oh, oh man, too. What? what? I mean, what are we gonna do? You, look, I'm down. Bro, you, if you, I'm down. Look, you produce more bounce, Boosie yeah. Powers, Funkadelic, Parliament, George Clinton, man, quit the chili, chili peppers. Quit the uh, chili peppers. Yeah, horny, horny. Man, yes. uncle, you got too many genres, man. If, he if, said Boosie. It, it, it don't make sense. Oh man, I'm okay. I'm, 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 God love Swiss. Hell yes, I'm gonna. Be, I got some shit. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make that happen. Swiss beats. You heard that? George Clinton said he need that. Shout uh, out to Scarface. Yeah, and then we, and we got to shout out to my boy Scarface too, y'all. Oh yeah, shout out to Face man. You know Face is my guy, man. That's Brad he's George. Some right. energy. You know he's on my last two uh, last record there. That's Houston's finest right there, man. That's the old yes. from Houston, man. Except to me when I was a young puppy, him and Bushwick yeah. and Willie D, they took me. Yeah, and yeah, my boy. So yeah, man. So let's do this some more, man. Okay. Hey, Unc, you know I love you, and I got your private line, but we wanted to go public with this today. I'm, I'm glad we did. Shit, I didn't know we can get away. With, I didn't know we can get away with all of this. Hey, Uncle, it ain't nothing we can't do, man. The funk shall be moved because it can't be removed. Okay. You did. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. I love you, Uncle. I'll see you again. May the funk be with you and your family. Same to you, man. Tell your family to say hi and love and all that shit, y'all. Congratulations on his clothing and, line. Yeah, congratulations on your clothing line, too, man. Hey, thank you, Uncle. You know how we do it. Just trying to keep this shit alive, baby. Roof. Whoa. 3GP. And all of that. You did. Reach the litmus. Let me see.